y'all need to sponsor me, man. Go ahead and DM me on Instagram or email me. My email in the description box below. Y'all need to go ahead and sponsor me. Y'all need to sponsor me, man. Go ahead and DM me on Instagram or email me. My email in the description box below. Y'all need to go ahead and sponsor me. But <clears throat> what's up, gang? It's your girl TK Official, y'all. We back, man. We back with some more content. We back with some more reaction vids, shit like that. Have some day. This video, this reaction video is going to be referencing the Taylor Girls and Asian Doll. Now, if y'all not too familiar with the Taylor Girls or Asian Doll, Asian Doll is a rapper. And she's pretty known in the industry. You know what I'm saying? She used to date King Von. Shit like that. The industry know her. She got a couple of, a couple of hit songs. Shit like that. Now, the Taylor Girls um, and some of you know these kids' favorite YouTubers. They've been doing YouTube for some time, coming up on 10 years. Um, I believe that they started doing little skits and shit like that on Instagram, graduated to YouTube, and now they also do music. They're rappers, and I ain't gonna lie, they're pretty good, you know what I'm saying? They got some pretty good music out, and they're signed. They're, matter of fact, they're not signed. They're independent rappers. Ty and the Taylor Girls and Asian Doll been linking up. They should been linking up to but more so Ty. They've been linking up for the past couple of days. Asian um, attended Ty's party um, that she threw, you know what I'm saying? A couple of celebrities like Queen Nyjah, Clarence. A couple of celebrities was there and um, came and showed love to the Taylor girls. So they end up uh, partying at Ty's party. After the party, they end up um, linking and going to a club. At that club was Future, the rapper Future. Sure, y'all know who Future is, but Future was um, at the club in his little section right next to them. Shit like that. So, Asian Doll done went on the radio, telling the radio, yeah, me and the Taylor girls, we're in the studio with Future. I got a Future. I got a song with Future. But let me tell y'all, T. She's basically stating that Ty was basically, you know, it's Ty. I don't know if I just want to say Ty. His dates there because she's, you know, what I'm saying the other half of the Taylor girl. But basically said Ty was being thirsty. You know what I'm saying? They were there and, you know, Future played his music. Future asked, you know, Asian, go ahead and play your music, whatever. And basically Asian story is Ty just fun bargain, you know what I'm saying, just took over, basically took her phone off the ox and threw um, the Taylor girl music on, so Asian Doll wasn't liking that, so she spoke out about it, she didn't like it, so she spoke out about it. If you guys are new to the channel, be sure to show y'all support, like a video, comment down below, you know what I'm saying, check out my description box, just follow me on all social media platforms, you can also email me for business inquiries. Inqu inqu I've never been able to say that where y'all can uh, DM me on Instagram. Like I said, my link is in the description box below every video, not just this one. So, man, I'm not finna hold y'all and talk. <sighs> y'all, I done gained some weight. Y'all gonna have to bear with me. I already feel like I'm out of breath. But, anywho, I don't wanna hold y'all, man. I done already talked enough, man. Let's go ahead and get right into this reaction video. I don't know what video. Bitches. We gonna say bitches. I don't know what video that was made about me. I don't know what was said in the video, nor do I want to look at the video. So let me tell. I'm not gonna go off because it's like I'm, I'm a, like I'm I'm such I'm like like bitches like they a little girls to me. And before we get too deep in the video, I am going to be stopping the video from time to time and talking in between. Um, clips and shit like that and the only reason why I do that is because that's part of 
YouTube makers as part of the YouTube guideline, I'm already feeling some kind of way. You know what I'm saying? Already feeling some kind of way. Almost like she has to add to the story. I'm getting those kind of vibes from her right now. Let's 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 watch some more. See, you know what I'm saying? But I'm, I'm getting those kind of vibes. Like she gotta, you know what I mean? Add to the story or take something out or you know what I'm saying? She thinking too hard. You know what I mean? It just ain't organic enough for me. Fight! I don't want to do nothing. So, even going to make a YouTube video just show that bitches is. You, it just, it just, without me having to even clear nothing, something up, when you go make a video and you sit and make a video for views and to get paid off this shit, they got something to do with my name. That explains a bitch character off top. I don't, feel, I don't feel I done had many, many fallouts with my friends, and I would never make a video. So that's how you know that shit was capped. Number one, that's how you know. The relationship was kept. I to speak on that. It's a red flag because the Taylor girls came out and made a YouTube video, responded to your your, your uh, podcast on Twitter. That's their job. That's what they do. It's not like they just came up with some. Sh oh, let's let's make a video, uh, uh, Asian dog. Let's make a video on pop art shit. That's what they do. It wasn't like it was out the ordinary, nothing like that. It was nothing abnormal about that at all. It was already capped. Boom. Second of all, any bitch saying, hold on, first of all, let me tell you with me. Bitch, people, hoes want to come around me. Bitches want to step into my world. You know, it's not Asian door going up. I'm not hitting up bitches. I'm not asking the link with no bitch, especially no bitch who who I'm who I look that like what you see what I'm saying. So bitches want to come into Asian door world. People want to come. Bitches want to come around me and befriend my. Where did you get the idea that folk want to come in your world to be on some use? Like, are you? You know what I'm saying. You experienced this before. Plenty of people that came in your life and used you. She kind of making me feel as if, you know what I'm saying, she one of them uh, women that really can't have other women friends. You know what I'm saying? She gave me that, that kind of vibe, like she really don't kick it with too many females. You know what I mean? So for me, she already in defensive. That, and I'm very, 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 very respected when it comes to this rap shit. To the point where I can walk in the studio with anybody. I, I bet you, I guarantee, hundred percent, them niggas gonna show Asian girl love. You feel me? So I'm finna hit key pointers and then I'ma get out because I'm finna go. My main thing is, don't lie. Don't lie. I was set up to be used, whatever the fuck you wanna call it, which it. And she still haven't said anything. You know what I mean? She's still in this defensive mode. You know. She still really ain't saying much, you know what I'm saying? Other than the fact that she pressed. I ain't even really got to hear too much more. I can already repeat that she pressed. Like, and of course you're going to think that the other group or, or the motherfuckers you beefing with, of course you're going to think they lying. Of course you're going to say they lying. Because you you're not going to agree with everything they got to say. You know what I'm saying? You're not going to agree with the way they felt shit went down. So, yeah, of course, you're going to feel like they lying. You know, like, why you out here playing with little hoes anyway? So, I'm looking at the situation. Like, I'm I'm, I'm embarrassed to the point where I ain't even want to speak That's on it. You see what I'm saying? When I said what I said in that live, in the, in that, um, on that um, recording, I wasn't secretly recording. I knew what the fuck I was saying. I knew exactly what the fuck I was doing. I said what I said, and I stand on it. So basically what you're saying in so many words is that it it was premeditated. You couldn't wait to get on the radio or somebody podcast, you know what I'm saying, somebody social media platform to tell everybody how the Taylor girls was thirsty. It's like, come on, man, like, I don't know, man, I'm getting defensive vibes, you know what I'm saying? She really shouldn't be fucking with females to begin with. A little jealousy, you know what I'm saying, and shit like that. You see what I'm saying? When motherfuckers got around me, it was for an image, it was for a look. It's, that's cool, that's cool. 
I, we t I took, I feel like I took the L because I'm Asian dog, you feel me? I let a hoe come around me. I, I lay out that shit, so I'm on some grown woman shit, like, I'm gonna take the L in silence. Have you experienced this with women before? You know what I'm saying? With some of your female friends or your female associates, have you experienced this before? Or did the Taylor girls or Ty give you a reason to feel such way? You know what I'm saying? She really give me, giving me those vibes. She ain't got no business hanging out with females in the first place. You see what I'm saying? She ain't got no business hanging out with females in the first place if you're feeling that way. If if a, a, a bitch or two done did you wrong in the past, you know what I'm saying, and you feeling some kind of way, then you ain't got no business, you know what I'm saying, trying to associate with women. Especially uh, uh, female rappers, they in the same league as you. You see what I'm saying? So it's competition already. Like y'all hoes want to be in my world. Like it, it's, it's not the opposite. It's not Asian door trying to hang. It's like y'all hoes come, trying to come in my world like and that's just real shit so one we gonna give credit when it's due nobody had no fucking studio session with no motherfucking future what bitches can't just get in no motherfucking studio session with no fucking future when i walked in the club first of all everybody know my body i'm i don't even i like I don't even jump for nobody. Like if I'm, if it can be everybody, A-list celebrities in the club. If I don't want to go in the club, Asian door not going in the club. That is my vibe. You see, what I'm saying that is my vibe. So when I went, this how the, this how the whole connection went. When I went into, I had to use the bathroom. Mind you, we had went to like four places. I had to use the bathroom. I said I wouldn't even go into the club. But I had to use the bathroom to the point I had to use the bathroom so bad. Me, security, and my niggas, we went in. I left everybody outside. So when everybody bandwagoning and following me, I don't even know how the fuck bitches even find me. You see what I'm saying? I walked. So because you walked in the club first, they followed you? Why like y'all all pulled up to the club? Like y'all probably popping y'all shit, sitting in the car and shit, freshen up y'all makeup and shit like that. You probably have to use your bathroom or something. You know what I'm saying? They still freshen up, putting perfume and shit on. Then they go in a club, that don't mean they followed you. Like, you're, that's weird to me. Like, how did they follow you if y'all all put up uh, to the club together? How did they? Uh. Everybody know my personality is no. I said no. Because I'm supposed to be Asian Queen Vaughn. What the fuck I do? Like, walking into a nigga section, getting, you know, no matter what it is, it's always about how I look. I'm, I done took L's by that, you know, by. By just doing being real, but the shit don't look, you know. So I was just, I'm like, shit, no. Long story short, they said bring Asian to the studio. This Asian door, and I put this on him, on my, on my soul. Asian door was invited only. Asian door. Number two, we in the we 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 in that hole. This how you know I'm a like bitches like no no matter if it was them or anybody else, ain't nobody pressure. How was you in a club with almost a thousand people? You're in a club with more than one person and niggas come over on some weird shit like, we finna go to the studio, but only you can come. That don't even sound right. Niggas finna be like, bring your home, girls. You know what I'm saying? Grab a bottle. We got the weed. Niggas ain't finna just say, oh, only you can come. Where the fuck they doing at that Asian? Like, keep it a thou wow. Come on now. Studio session with nobody. That's just number one. I was a generous bitch. I let motherfuckers come. You see what I'm saying? I could have been like, nah, he asked me this. Is, it's a club. You know, I could have really held my nuts. And it was a voice in my head telling me I already embarrassed him. But I, you know, I'm like, let me, I, like me, I'm like, let me just show how, show bitches how this shit is done type shit. So I, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Come in. When I came in that bitch, Future walked up to me. Future said, Asian, play all your shit. Stop playing. He said, Asian, play all your shit. Guess what I got to do? I got to play in all my shit. And I put this on my soul. I got to play in all my shit. When I'm playing my shit, this how all of my mother, this how I can feel a bitch breathing on my neck. That's how close the bitch is to my neck. You see what I'm saying? That's how, that's how, on, that's how much on dick a motherfucker really was. But me being me, I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm knowing bitches fan there. They ain't used to shit like this. Stop playing. I'm so because you feeling normal feelings, feeling some kind of way because there's uh, uh, other, you know what I'm saying, women rappers around you, 
So it's automatically competition. Asian darling, that's completely okay. So you're feeling normal feelings, you know what I'm saying? But now you you being weird. They ain't enough pressure. They supposed to be your home, girl. What you mean they ain't enough pressure? It's like that. Like even if you felt that way, I feel like you know what I'm saying that that's kind of shady of you to kind of put it out there like that. Like y'all should be supposed to be on some rah rah shit, some linking up shit. You know what I'm saying? The future shit, the studio shit. That was just some extra. Cause y'all happen to be in the same club at the same time or some extra, period. Like you, you, you a little weird. You, you basically felt some kind of way cause you felt normal feelings. You know what I'm saying on, on some competition shit. But and you start moving in the, the weird zone. You see what I'm saying? You know, and, and you, and you hate it. Niggas can see that clear as daylight. You know what I'm saying? To me, you, you felt some kind of way, like, uh, uh, uh. You were ashamed. Like, if you was really ashamed, then you, you really wouldn't be out kicking it with YouTubers. Like, and the Taylor girls aren't the only YouTuber that I've seen you pop your shit with, kick it with, turn up with. I've seen you turned up with Xavi. You know what I'm saying? They're, the Taylor girls aren't the only YouTubers, you know what I'm saying? So why you acting like they're beneath you, they're not. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta check people's credentials. Google niggas, you know what I'm saying? Catch up. Break on my neck, that's how close the whole world and I turn around. Bitch, why I could damn near kiss a motherfucker. You see what I'm saying? So, long story short, the op, I'm like five songs in. He get to ask me, woo, woo, ain't you from where? Woo, woo, I love this song. Ain't y'all, woo, woo. We talking as an artist to an artist. Bitches ain't even really artists. On my soul. On my soul. Bitches not even artists. Let me tell you how let me, let me tell you how this day went. This night went. So, I never, I never, I'm a, I, I really do this shit. I, I smoke in a session to get high, but I never drink. On my section, like I was drunk in the studio, but I was drunk to the point where it was like a like when I get when I when I get drunk, I get lit. I don't get drunk and get mean and want to fight. I get lit and I get friendly. You see what I'm saying? Cause I ain't fighting demons. Like I'm good. So when I get drunk, I get lit. So I'm in there. I, they just love my personality type shit. So I'm I'm a first of all, hoes didn't even talk. Hoes didn't even say nothing. So I'm in there having conversation with with everybody. So the ox chorus, something happened with the um. You know how when you play your music, it's always some tested. It's always like the computer, like a party shut down and cut off. It was like one of them type of moments. So as the, the, the computer booting back up, I heard it. I heard it in my ear. I heard the, she walk up to my homeboy and say, "I want to play my shit." Me being me, the voice in my head said, St "Like what?" You see what I'm saying? But I this was, but my body, my body, I was just like, I mean, I'ma let her, I'ma just let her go ahead and play the shit. Your mindset and playing tricks on you because you really wanted to be and should be on some genuine shit. And you done played five songs already. The shit fucked up. That's your hunger. She probably feel like you damn near done. Okay, let me put my shit on. Let me let them listen. It's a gang of artists in here. We we sitting, you know, kicking the shit. You know what I'm saying? And it's a bunch of creators in here and shit. Let me put my shit on. You know what I'm saying? That's normal activity. But you see, your mind is playing tricks on you because you out of line. Once, I don't ever act like a bitch can just walk in the studio with Future and he gonna hurt a bitch shit. Stop playing. That's Future. Like, come on. Like, bitch, you can't even give, your, you can't even give credit when it's due. You was hanging with me three days. You end up in the studio of Future. Like, gang, get credit. Like, that's just what it is. Like, Asian Wall, she had me in the studio of Future. I played my shit. Woo, woo, woo. I don't sit here and try to damn play the situation. But anyway, so look. Play the shit. No, Nothing. Boom. So, she slick. She slick. Hold on. Let me tell y'all how slimy bitches is. Damn, that shit just hurt my eyes so bad. I'm getting jealousy vibes, man. Like, shit ain't adding up. I don't sound like nigga, she just booted you out the way, nigga, on some thirsty shit and hooked her shit up, nigga, and started bumping her shit. No, everybody, you sound like everybody was playing their music and she threw her shit on. Why would you feel some type of way about that? And why would you have it pre planned as soon as you get on social media and then you put it out there? That's supposed to be your homegirl. 
Like, that shit don't add up. That shit is mad weird. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, they mutual artists, too. You know what I'm saying? Just like you, you know what I'm saying? There, there's a reason why you started fucking with them in the, at, at, at the beginning. You know what I'm saying? And again, this isn't a biased channel. I'm not a biased person. I'm just transparent. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to keep it 100. And say, so you are giving me weird fucking... So look, let me tell you how slimy bitches is. So she whispered to my she whispered to my heart. And if you want to look at it that way, if you want to look at it like, oh, the Taylor girls, we kicked it, you know what I'm saying, for three days, and then and within three days they were in the studio with me, Future. Yeah, if you want to look at it that way, yeah. But they obviously niggas is looking at it a different way you know what i'm saying they feel highly about themselves. you know what i'm saying they confident about who the fuck they is and they should be you know what i'm saying so yeah, if you want to look at it that way all niggas was uh kicking it with asian dog and and and, and, and uh and within three days nigga we was in a, uh in a studio with fuser like yeah you can absolutely look at it like that way but maybe they didn't look at it that way Future say no i'm working on my album i ain't doing songs with nobody Walk out, boom. And then the way that she said it, ah, nah, I'm working on my album. I ain't doing no features with nobody. I ain't doing no songs with nobody. And walk out, like you know, show some hate shit. Like she was, just say you was competitive. You know what I'm saying? You felt some kind of way because they is pressure. You feel some kind of way because they is competition. Just say that. And don't forget to like the video. Uh, comment down below, you know, share, and, you know what I'm saying, and share this video on all social media platforms. Until next time, y'all.